Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with uh, the Paladins video, first video on the channel in 2023. Going to be doing Amani today with both of the setups I've been running lately. One is based on Spinning Ice, one is Pyromania, barely ever use a Mana Rift. They're very different though from the last time I covered her, which was forever ago. Based on the same thing with health, regen in the F, which I've been running for a really long time. And then the fire stance has extra speed in the right click, a bit of extra mana. The ice one has extra mana and then speed on the projectile. They're both quite worth playing. Pyro need to get buffed a bit with extra mana gem with a fireball if you go for it. But yeah, I'd say it massively depends on your preference. We've got two so full for game one. We're going to mave a seven of Vivian and a buck. No healer there. I should probably go for the ice one to match the map and I'm going to go for the fire setup and then we'll do a siege probably for game two, just because I tend to do a bit worse with the fire one, but it also makes more sense for the team we're up against. Maeve, double EV, Corvus and Trogos. We are really, really speedy in that right click, so I'm going to try and fly around and blast people with it, but not going to read out the taunts. It's just a TDM. We'll go through this one pretty quick because the fire setup is pretty much the exact same, just gen a bit more mana. Mainly the difference between when I covered it last time, which was still quite a while ago, is the extra speed in the right click that I run because it is just giving you a little bit of extra dodge ability in the right click which you pretty much don't have otherwise it does really depend on the situation like i said this is a good one for the fire setup too we'll pop the f heal up a little bit glide over the top part pop the right click here just about got that off there goes drogos there's a pit for corvus so it takes a little minute to get out of it sometimes i'm dead hit to the move glide around a bit we don't have the extra speed in the glide because you don't really need it because as soon as you pop the right click you are zoom in pop the f i have no idea where i even am that was a blind from the mave there's the right click we'll try and melt through the ev she's going into the ice thing double tap maybe let's just pretend i didn't use the ult and only kill the drogos but we'll pop the right click up here just blast him sure i mean someone needs to kill him right we're actually behind here by eight i don't know how i've barely seen the team this whole game glide up a bit like i said we don't run the extra speed it is kind of nice there if you've got space for it in your setup melt through the corvus there we go hello mave trying to go for the double tap we could have got him there it's a little bit slow to charge on the fireball this is definitely the less flashy setup and the less impactful feeling setup compared to the ice one it's a right click not through mave the right click is just a really strong killer button finish off our chronos as we're floating around don't know how we're losing this one by so much i'm not through the ev she's just gonna sit in that for the whole time there's a little tap on her I feel like i'm doing fine in this one i'm doing all right dodging in like the f there's a little tap for the corvus tap for the mave i'm dead here do have your again games coming to an end i did use it once earlier but like i said didn't really get anything with it melt through mave Never mind, there's the defeat. Her ult is still really buggy. Sometimes it takes a minute to transition you out of it. But yeah, there we go. A quick look at the fire setup. I used to use that one a lot. Don't really like it that much these days. I feel like compared to the ice one, it just isn't as good. We'll do a siege for game two and we'll use the sort of more meta one that I prefer and tend to do quite a bit better with. Saying that though, I do still think Amani's in a bit of a weird spot meta wise with how good she is. And I do still play her as a little bit of a hybrid. I will use the fire setup every now and again with the right click because it is still really strong without the speed. But we've got a Furia, a Lian, a BK, and a Khan. Can't remember the last time I played Amani on this map, to be honest. But we're against an Ara Mother's Grace, a Ying, Impulse, Cassie, Yomi, Zin, which might be kind of annoying. Obviously, Mother's Grace counters us too. Alacrity, we've got Cherished, more bullets, or subjects eminent. Throw that there for the early route. Didn't hit anybody. Just blast away. She's going to run in. Her ball is also going to kind of screw us. Hitting her with that thing up is not really doing that much. Zin's going behind. To glide over. Drop the right click. Surprise him with that. There we go. He's pulling up the counter, but we did get the clear. We'll switch into this for a little second just to throw out some 1Ks. Glide over to the right side a bit. Just try and sort of mess up the tempo that they're going for. There's a right click on her. She is nearly gone. Don't know why I can still see the ants thing through the wall. It's kind of a crazy bug. There's a tap for the Zin. I was going to do the double tap, which probably would have been a better play there. Anara died. I kind of panicked a bit. Wasn't really expecting the Zin flank, to be completely honest. That caught me a little bit off guard, and I need to just stay in the ice one. Switching so much isn't worth it. Through the frost bomb through. Maybe we'll catch two with that. That was just the Anara. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's the stun from the Khan sort of setup. Did get a little tap there on her. Hello, Zin. I think I'm dead. We'll pop the F. Zin on me. Maybe finish him off. Nope. Shouts the uh, friggin' Fury there for the heal. We'll glide over. Do I go for the ult here? Just play it super safe. Kind of a good place to pop it. We'll just go over in the indoor bit here. The Tad. Just hold them off. Maybe blast through the Anara. Nope. Okay. Jesus Christ. This is scuffed. There goes Zin. Nope. There's the one second that I fired two shots at before it converted me over. That's the end going for the ult. There is the root. There's the free kill. Nice. See what I mean? Even if you don't feel like you're doing that much in the play to play with like the damage sort of output you have, at the end it tends to add up pretty damn well and you do, you know, sort of secure a lot of kills with that root if you're doing it right. Pretty much just permanently holding my left click here, just blasting away, getting some free damage, holding them off a bit. And I was trying to push in a tad here. But there we go. Defense successful. We've got the 1 1. I'm going to grab some Haven and Veteran. But yeah, like I was trying to say, Amani really is one of those characters that you don't feel like. Like you're having a huge impact on the match as you're playing her but for the enemy team you cause a lot of trouble and for your team you do set up quite a lot of stuff and it really just adds up at the end although i definitely wouldn't say that i'm the best amani probably the character that i'm rather uncomfortable with compared to others we're going to just do a little f around a bit so the right there for the route on the cassie there's a free kill 
Nice. I think that's also the NR off the map. There we go. Pretty big play. That's really the thing with the right click that you get with it is just sort of capitalizing and making huge plays with it if you set it up right. That wasn't a good example, but the last one with Cassie kind of was if you know where someone's going to be entering, you can throw it and it lands on them when they just pop in through. More hits on them, just sort of zoning them off here for free. Just kind of zoning off an area because your fire rate on your ice stance is actually pretty damn speedy. It doesn't hit that hard. 420, and obviously it does spread, which makes it like 600 and some in. But compared to the fire stance, it's very, very forgiving and you fire so quickly that missing some doesn't really feel that bad hello zin all right and our ulted throw that there catch it with the root okay killed the lian sure see what i mean you just kind of have such a big radius on it that even if you're like sort of mediocre setting up a play you'll end up with quite a bit of damage on it and a good setup if you're there clearing the zin pretty much on her own we're going to throw that root there catch the cassie that didn't work i'm still kind of behind him fury with the ult taps here on the anara sure free sort of spread damage there we go going for the ult just to guarantee this push i don't know if i really needed to there but there goes the ying I'm not sure that I'm fine, but I think we've pretty much got this. I don't know why I even bothered, but sort of lock them at the door, I guess. There goes the Leanne. Don't know if that was really worth doing, but it felt like it made an impact. So sure, we'll go for Haven and Nimble next, just to get the most value. Damage reduction here is obviously super useful. Armani has a pretty big health pool right now with just, you know, veteran one. We're on like 2.6k nearly. Threw a right click through, didn't get anything with that. Hello, Cassie. Just throw over some hits. That's fear for the heal the stuff. Got some good damage on it there, actually. Let's calm with the ult. Try and set up something here with a Zin. That's a single hit on him. He's pulling up the counter. Calm with the heal. Throw the right click through. Maybe we'll catch somebody with that. There we go. Pretty big one, actually. We'll pop the right click too just to blast, but I didn't really do anything. Okay. 1k over there for the Ying. Sure. Zin's just here. He's out. I'm missing a bunch of my shots because I'm jumping around, which you shouldn't do with the ice stance because it does actually throw you off quite heavily. Throw the right click there. I might catch it. It did. Oh, shit. That actually nearly worked out. There's a hit or two for the Anara. Kind of catch her at an angle here. Don't know how the hell I'm not dead. Fury's been putting in work though, to be honest. We'll go over the top, pop the right click. There is a root on her. She is not gone. I just about missed her foot by like a freaking toes length there. She's still up. Zin's on the side. Fury with the ult. I feel like I might have missed up this play if we don't get it. Zin going for the ult on the Leanne. She's popping her ult straight afterwards, but the team held it down. I played like ass there on that final round. I feel like I did get a kill or two, but I think the Anara's just holding it. She went for the ult. I don't know what happened there with the timer, but okay she's gone i don't see us losing this now because they're way off but it's a route just in case victory shout out to the team they won that one i played really messy but it kind of worked out in the end it's a good showcase for the setup because i set up stuff for them so yeah overall i'm happy with it 639 68k I definitely could have done better the end shredded bk actually didn't do that much there but i think his stuns were setting stuff up furia put in work there didn't think she'd do such a good job as a solo healer but she killed it and the Khan also did a really good job. Super solid team there for sure. Shoutouts to their Zin. Someone wanted to report him, but I feel like he was doing fine on the flank thing. He was definitely putting in an effort and was pretty damn annoying, to be honest. Although the Ying for sure, definitely the star of the show on their side with 123k. Pretty good game. Pretty good showcase for Imani, although a bit awkward as to be expected. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I wish you a fantastic 2023. This is the first video, obviously, I'm recording and posting in the year. I'll have more, of course, coming. I'm not planning to stop anytime soon. I look forward to what Paladins has got in the future with updates and stuff we'll see so yeah i'll see you all really soon and as always stay frost there